Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to dare to share with you how you can create buttons like these using PowerPoint. If that's what you want to learn today, just keep on watching. Okay, as you can see, I have different buttons. Um, I created some with dots in the background. Um, this one has white brick wall and then these are different from the rest because when you go into slideshow you will see that these are live if you want to learn how to make these animated buttons you can go ahead and watch my other video that i have already posted but today we're going to create this one let's do it Okay, open your PowerPoint and the first thing that you have to do is set up the size of your template that you'll be working on. To do that in PowerPoint, we'll go into design that's on the very top of your ribbon. Click on design and then if you look to the right, you'll find slide size. So we will click on that and we will select custom slide size. Now the settings that we need to have here is for width, you will choose eight inches. So you'll just move this up and down until it lands on eight. For height, you'll pick two. And then you will just click OK. You will get this template. OK, I'm just going to simply add a new slide. And of course, we'll get rid of this bar here so we can have a nice empty template. Now we will go ahead and insert shape. So you click on insert shapes and you will pick circle and with your cursor you will draw your circle that you will be working on i think this looks like a good size for a button um, don't worry about the size because you will change the sizing once you upload this to your google document so i will show you how to do that later how to change the sizing that you need it to be. But for now, we'll just work with this size. Now we need to decide what we want for the background to be. So you will right click on your shape and right here you'll see fill. So you click on that and look at the options you have. You can change different color. As you can see, it's also allowing you to preview that. You can also do gradient even texture but what i normally choose is picture because i like that option of choosing my own background that i find in google so let's go to google and let's find the background that i want to use for this button i searched in google by confetti background and i came across this background that called my attention so right click on the image we will do save image as now here you have to pay attention that it's JPEG or PNG and then name it confetti and we'll save that. And now we'll go back to our PowerPoint. Here we're going to right click on the shape and we'll go to fill and picture. Now we have to find the picture that we downloaded. Confetti insert and there it is. Now you will also need to go back again and right click and change your border and that you will do by clicking on outline. And here you can choose if you want any color for your border or if you just want it with no outline. I will choose no outline. Okay, so now it's time for Bitmoji, but before we get too excited, we need to make a copy of this template so we can save ourselves some time. We will right click on this image and then we'll go copy and just paste as many times as you need. We need four more. Okay, that way you already have them ready for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And you don't have to do this whole thing again. All right, so now it's time for Bitmoji. So let's go back to Chrome browser and we will go and click on our Bitmoji extension. We will type the word Monday and we will select our Bitmoji that we want to apply. I will right click on this image, copy image, 
and now we'll go back to our template and we will paste it click in on keep source formatting okay make sure that you select this paste option and not the one on the right side if you would pick the one that's on the right side it would not be transparent but it would look like this okay just make sure that you go for this paste option okay now we need to make it smaller so we'll just drag it by the boxes and try to fit it into our button okay you can play around with this looks good okay well you can always add more touches to this and make it prettier if you wish but i am happy with the look i'm going to now draw this box around the button and highlight it i have to make sure that i have these two boxes because i applied the bitmoji that's one layer and i have the shape underneath it so i have two layers and so i have to have two boxes now i'm going to again right click on this and choose the option group group this is important that way you have it all together it's not going to move on you when you need to copy and paste it to your google document all right everyone so this is how you create your buttons using powerpoint i hope you found it helpful please watch out for my next video where i'm going to show you how to move your buttons and the header that we created in the other video together how we can move this into a google document and then to schoology thanks everyone be safe god bless you and see you next time bye